why we would make the perfect jurors because look, well first off look at this empty jury box at an american courtroom this is they're, they're always playing this game this is not an american courtroom this is a united states courtroom if it was an american courtroom then it would be under a constitutional type of but i can guarantee you that if you were to look at it in this court at a different perspective there is a flag a united states flag with a gold fringe this is fucking a foreign vessel in dry dock this is a port court courtrooms only operate via ex finances okay they do not operate within justice or within righteousness and uh why we would make the perfect jurors because any in every cause which is what they call a case and the reason you call it a cause because of the cause and effect so every you effectively create a cause right they are effectively creating a cause if they if it was a case then it would have actual substance right you building a case you build a case right meaning you obtain evidence to back your bullshit right so why we would make the perfect jurors because unlike all of these idiots right all of these sheeple who uh, believe maybe that they're they're all getting fucked right like i don't know even how much do they even get paid i i hear that they, you get paid and and i i know you're not ever going i i can't find out any fucking bit of credible information in any aspect so so even if they did they're getting nickel and dimed for uh, the amount of fucking time and energy that they are fucking putting in to this doing their duty civic duty here's why we would be for every in any case 100 percent mark our fucking words right right hand right now up to the gods whatever the fuck you need to make sure that you understand 100 percent and we are never fucking going to budge from this. We are not going to fucking change ever. Not in this fucking lifetime. Okay? Because we have seen the fucking light. Okay? In in the respect of what these fucking people, these, uh, these banking administrators posing as judges and their fucking, their district attorney. Well, there, there's, an, uh, there's a concept. You have a district attorney... And you have a county attorney. What's the difference? The district is working for the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C. They're in a federal capacity. Right? And the county, it's all, it's all the same shit. Right? And so we, we will never side on this fucking on the side of the state automatically it doesn't matter if murdered fucking if this fucking nut job fucking murdered a hundred fucking it doesn't matter anything if it is up against the state if it is joe dumb fuck versus or basically the state of all 50 states that are corporations versus any fucking monkey in the in america any one of the sheeple automatically we don't even need to hear the case automatically right fucking now 
You could throw a million cases in the future at us, and already we don't even want to hear it. We have already made our fucking judgment. Um, not guilty. Period. End of story. Uh, why? Not even worth fucking telling you fucking monkeys. We're not going to tell you why. Okay? You should already fucking know why. However, and, and, the, and, the, and the reason being is because... Uh, <clears throat> However, oh, well, the reason being is because the only thing, the only way you fucking monkeys are ever going to, and I didn't know this either myself, okay, and, and I'm a fucking worthless fucking shit, and, and they don't ever tell you any of this, I had to learn this, I had to dig for this information, and it didn't come, like, quickly, I had to fucking keep, the only way that you're going to fucking make, reap any benefit from any loss, the state will make all of the benefit for every loss. The only way you can is if you yourself sue the fucking cunt on a tort. Now, how the fuck are you going to sue somebody and get any type of benefit if the fucking state already has them in their fucking private prisons, right? generating mad fucking profit off of them so for an example and this was a long time ago and and the facts are i don't know how much and nobody will ever know you could fucking go and they'll say whatever the fuck they want to say but there was a time and this was years ago that they said that for every inmate the state has to uh, pays fifty thousand dollars for every inmate and i'm thinking give me a fucking break so they got a little hole made out of concrete block, okay? And I know people, whole families who make less than 50 fucking thousand dollars a year, right? And they're paying for every aspect of their life. And here you got some fucking cunt, right? Some fucking slave inside of a little fucking box, right? How, uh, yeah, fucking stupid is the... Um, Americans, fucking stupid. You're fucking worthless. You're fucking shit. I can't fucking stand you people. Right? I can't fucking stand you people. And you're too good for me, right? No, you are too good for me. I'm not good enough for you people, and therefore I can't fucking stand you. Like, I, I want nothing to fucking do with you. And one last thing is, here's a fact is that there's nothing united about the states. There's nothing united about the states, okay? So, in other words, if you had to travel from Maine to California, right, there, you would have to go through uh, about a dozen states, roughly, right? And every time you entered into a new jurisdiction... You are under some sort of other possible laws, and they can do whatever the fuck they want inside of that jurisdiction, and you're not protected in any kind of, in any capacity, right? And so let's say you uh, are in Kansas, and you got fucked over. Well, if you're from Maine, or you know, if you move into California, and you got fucked in, in Kansas, then you're, you're shit out of luck. Everything, you're going to have to go back to fucking Kansas to fucking try to resolve the problems and shit like that. And, right? And meanwhile, you have to fucking go to work. You have to do all of these things. You have maybe even family. You, they are fucking you people so fucking hard. It, 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 it uh, oh my God. I, they, here's, here's another fact, right? Is that, even inside of a fucking state, you're you're not even fucking protected in the whole state. So you're county by county is where it fucking the draw the lines are drawn by county. And so there are more than fucking three thousand. I think it was thirty three hundred. How many counties? In United States, 
And, and also, by the way, it is not the United States. Just like you, uh, like General Motors, it's a corporation, okay? So when somebody talks about General Motors, they don't say the General Motors. They don't say the McDonald's, right? The Kentucky Fried Chicken. They just, so uh, it's not the United States. It is United States. How many, did I put countries? Counties. There are 3,141. County, counties and county equivalents in the 50 states of, uh, and the District of Columbia. So, yeah. And if, uh, if, if something happens in one county, the county right beside it will not fucking do anything. Period. Right? That's not our county. That's not our concern. You need to get with that county. And so then you're like, wait a minute, but that county is the one fucking me over. So if I have fucking clearly, I have clear evidence that they are fucking me over, then now what do you do? Absolutely fucking nothing. You take it. You, you That's it. We're done. Right, and then you have all of these fucking assholes go say go to a superior. There, there is no such thing. This is all a fucking smoke and mirrors, dog and pony show. It's a fucking joke from the start to finish. Right, all you are, as far as being one of these people that's ready that you see here, are nothing but fucking sheep. This is the only guy that knows what the fuck is going on. Look, and he's like fucking, yeah. You know. And uh, and so yeah, they will just suck the fucking life force out of you, okay? I mean, within the last couple of years, I literally feel just like I I wake up, okay? I wake up, and and this is very simple shit. This is all starts from just a bullshit public intoxication however they just kept throwing more and more shit on top of it playing more and more games and the more games that's being played all i'm trying to do is get answers so i waste all of my fucking waking hours and waking all of it centered completely around all of this shit this is why i'm like fuck it i'm just going to start start talking now on goddamn on this fucking fucking YouTube. Okay? So, I, yeah, that's all I got. Right? And so, this is all, and, uh, and yeah, and at least I can kind of get it out because other than that, it's like there's no more wind in my sails. I'm literally feeling like I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel old. Right? I'm starting to feel old. Right, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Right, all of the fire is fucking starting to dwindle. Right, I'm I'm just, you know, it, it now it's to the point where I don't even give a fuck anymore, and I, all I want to do is just leave, leave these fucking monkeys, and uh, and all these fucking idiots. They're coming over like, uh, well, I know why they're coming. Right, so anybody from down south, they're coming over here because they're getting fucking freebies, right? Because down south, they're told, "Go ahead, come over, and they will take care of you." So, for an example, anchor babies, right? They get the best of both fucking worlds, type of thing, right? And here's a fucking fact that there was a point where, uh, like, California was fucking so rich, it could have, it could have been its own country, and then twenty, thirty years ago. It started to bring in, like, it started getting flooded in with, uh, with, with people from down south of the border, right? I don't, you, you can't say Mexicans because they could have been Guatemalan. And quite frankly, it doesn't fucking matter what name or label. They came in from down south, and, and there's plenty other, 
other fucking uh, government corporations from overseas. They do, do the same thing. However, it, it takes a lot more. It's a lot harder fucking work, right? So, it, of course, it's a little bit harder for other people that have to fly over here and all that shit. But it's a lot easier just to come up from the bottom, from down south. And they fucking, and, and they uh, they went and, yeah, they fucking, they brought them all in, gave them all this free health care and everything. Meanwhile, re- meanwhile, my grandparents and everybody, everybody fucking that was dying, they fucking stole everything. So when when they eventually died, there was nothing, right? Be, uh, f- because of all the fucking medical expenses and all that shit. There is nothing left. This is a fucking, it, it, it's the biggest fucking shit show I could ever imagine. I don't know how bad it is everywhere else. However, I do know that, uh, you know, you you want some peace, you know. It, it, here, here's a fact. You might not have, uh, go to a third world country. You may not have <clears throat> AC. Yeah. Ooh, you know. You might not have air condition. Big fucking deal. I'm, I don't give a fuck if I ever turn a TV on ever again. I don't have cable. I don't I don't fucking have air condition. Right? I don't have... Um, here's a fact. 20 years I spent in construction. Right? Six days a week, 10 hours a day. That means that all fucking... All of my days... All of my waking days in general, right, were amongst nothing but new construction. Everything was a fucking mess, right? And when you wanted to eat, when it was time to eat lunch, you ate it on the fucking ground, on the floor, right? You didn't go into a nice little... um, When it was time to take a shit or a piss... You went into an outhouse that was shared by fucking a hundred other men, right? It was fucking disgusting, right? You lift up the seat and there's a huge pile of fucking other people's shit that you're fucking hovering your fucking nuts over, right? It was fucking disgusting, right? And I did that for nothing more than like $24 an hour, right? So, so yeah, I'm pretty certain I'll, uh, yeah, all I need to be around are, uh, are fucking, are some good people, right? And, and here's another thing, maybe I'll never have internet again, that would be a fucking, that would be actually, no, so there's an aspect of, I would love to be able to do a bunch of, I have a huge, huge fucking, you know, like, tons of fucking ideas, Okay, I I would love I got patentable ideas that are that I could patent. However, I'm not even going to fucking start if I can't ask a simple question like Are they allowed to fucking commit perjury? Then I know and and I can't get a word, right? A word back. So the American Bars Association will not even tell you if if perjury is legal, right? They'll say that they don't. They don't give, uh, they don't give, well then, here's a fact, I'll never give you any of my fucking time, nor my energy, nor my caring, and then they're like, well, it's a civil, civic duty, go fuck yourself and your whole fucking society, eat a dick, fucking, yeah, sell that bullshit to the fucking monkeys who don't know a goddamn thing, out. <laughs>